What's up, everybody? It is Mr. and Mrs. Bradley back at it again. What's up, y'all? Welcome to season two of Dear Mr. and Mrs. Bradley. If you guys have not seen season one, you should go ahead and check out that playlist. We have them all nicely placed for you in a playlist so you can catch up. We hit on some really good topics last season, and this season we have even more coming for you. Yeah, so very Vlogmas style Mr. and Mrs. Bradley going on here. So, before we jump too deep into it, I should say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like, thumbs up this video. All right, and also, like she said before, don't forget to check out the other videos as well, all right? So, Mrs. Bradley, do you remember the first gift you ever got me for Christmas? No. <laughs> do you remember the first gift I ever got you for Christmas? Oh God, I'm being put on the spot here. <laughs> no, I think it was some kind of pajamas. I don't think it was pajamas. I think it was. <laughs> and it was like rock or something. Dating our relationship. <laughs> so anybody remember that that clothing brand? Yeah. So um, for guys who don't know, who are just checking us out, now me and Mrs. Bradley, Mrs. Bradley, I've been together in a relationship for 12 years, married happily for eight years. Uh, so we got some longevity in this relationship gift giving thing. So First gifts, I really can't remember. I did ask. I, sw I swear I think it was pajamas though that first Christmas. I cannot, I can't remember that, which is bad too, because that was, that was, we, to our credit, we had only been dating for like three months at that point together in a relationship for like three months at that point when our first Christmas came around. But I do know what I've got you for our first six month anniversary gift. I hit him hard for that one. <laughs> our six month anniversary was February of the next year. It was February 2009 was our six month anniversary. And y'all know my birthday is also in February. And Valentine's, and Day. Valentine's Day. And it all hit in like that same weekend. It was amazing. <laughs> Got a, she got a Dooney. She got, what else did you get? Yeah, a Dooney and Burke purse. I got, that's when you gave me that ring, I think. Yeah, isn't it? a promise ring. I got a Dooney and Burke purse. I got a promise ring. And I got, I think I just got a bear for Valentine's Day or a bear and a card that's or something it, like it, that. That's it. That's it. I'm sure dinner and for something Valentine's else. Valentine's Day. Then we went out to dinner. I think we went shopping. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good weekend. Yeah. He didn't gotten cheap over the years. What? I'm just saying. I mean, what, two years ago, you just got a, a Louis, a MacBook. Louis and a MacBook two years ago for Christmas. It was four years ago. That was four. Well, whatever. Yeah. It was four. Oh, excuse me. You're right. Two years ago, you got a new MacBook. <laughs> he didn't gotten cheap, y'all. <laughs> two years ago, you got a new MacBook. Like two I years say, ago. He didn't, he didn't gotten cheap. <laughs> so, you got him one MacBook four years ago, and you got a new MacBook two years ago. You didn't Don't got, live in the past. Let me see what... You ain't got red bottoms for anniversary gifts. That was one anniversary. Oh my God. Don't See, try to put an ass on it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't live in the past either. Anyway, so this year though, <laughs> you're not, you want to talk about cheapskate. I'm not doing Christmas this year. I'm not buying any gifts for her. I think we are at the point where if she wants something, she lets me know she wants it. And I'll be like, go ahead, buy it, go get it, whatever, I don't care. So I'm not not doing the traditional gift giving of Christmas this year. So I think for most things we've we've gotten past that point. I, I feel like like you all know, we've talked about this before, our money situation. Our money all goes into one pot. He gets paid, I get paid, it all goes into the same bank account. There's no separation of the money. So anything that he buys, I, not only can I see, but that's coming out of any money that I was going to spend anyway. Anything that I buy, not only can he see, but that's coming out of the money that he was going to spend anyway. So it's just kind of like, I don't know, gift giving at this point is more so thoughtful. It's not really, oh, I want some big expensive gift, but it's it's more so thoughtful. Like if he went and just was like, oh, I'm going to surprise you with a car, I'm going to be like, well, 
it's kind of a note that we have to pay everyone. <laughs> like, why would you do that? Like, let's talk about that first. You know what I'm saying? Right. It just doesn't make sense. I've seen I've seen people where they be like, oh, um, my 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 boyfriend or fiance went out and bought a house. Like, I actually remember seeing a post about this about a young lady who her husband went and bought a house for them, and he was like, all for Christmas. He bought her a house for Christmas, and he was all like upset because she didn't appreciate it and she was kind of like i wanted to pick out have be a part of picking out my own first house but not only do i want to be a part of picking it out but i also want to be a part of picking out like talking about the budget and everything like that like some things maybe some things i don't tell you that i want but when i get in the house i'll know like oh my god this is it. This is what I've been kind of dreaming of but couldn't really verbalize my whole life. Like, that's nothing that I feel like you go out and pick out yourself. All right. So, same thing with um, with the money tied in. Like, I do I do believe that um, this is our first year, mind you, that we're not doing gifts for Christmas. Um, last year... Oh, we're not doing no gifts? We're doing small gifts. Thoughtful gifts. Oh, I was going to say, I didn't know we was doing no gifts. I ain't all getting nothing. <laughs> We're doing thoughtful gifts. Like last, um, was it last year or last our anniversary where you got me? She got me like this. She got me a uh, bag and it had like 50 things that I appreciate that you or you that make me was it make me happy? 50 or, reasons I love you. Yeah, 50 reasons I love you. And every day it was like she wanted me to pull out this bag and it had like a, a line of a reason why she loves me. And there's a lot of thought. That went into obviously verbalizing and write and even typing out and cutting up that type of stuff and putting it into a bag. So that's because it took a while. <laughs> I just want to say that it took a while. So that's more of the route in which we're going with um, gift giving, not so much like um, Louis and things of that nature. Even though she's still pushing me for. I mean, I can buy it if you want me to. I can order it for you. <laughs> so, with that being said. So what do you say for somebody? What about people who money not together? Do you think that this is a, a route that will still suit somebody who money I think is it's not something, together? I think it's something that you talk about because either way, I feel like if you live together, which is why I always felt like the money should be together because I felt like if we live together, our money's together. You can say what you want. You can say this is my money. They can be in separate accounts. But if I can't cover, say we're going, I don't know, just say we're going 50-50 on the bills or something and our money isn't together. If I don't have my half of the rent, what you gonna do? Put me out? You know what I'm saying? You gonna let the house go? Is that what you gonna do if I don't have my half for the, of the money for the bills? No, you won't pay that. I mean, I guess that'll, you know, maybe uncover other problems that you might have had, but I feel like, like whether you want your money to be together or not, if I got a lot of debt and I make way less than you and can't afford to pay to pay most of the bills, then you're gonna foot the rest of that bill. But that would make sense that so maybe that would that why that wouldn't work for a couple in our relationship because let's say maybe we are going 50 50 on the bills and maybe I'm making seventy thousand, you making fifty thousand, so you helping out. But come Christmas time maybe it is something that you really, really wanted all year and you didn't have that extra money to be able to go and get. So that's where being able to go out and buy that will suffice at that time. I of mean, year. but either way, we still go out and buy each other stuff. Like we still buy each other stuff. Like you said, we we bought big gifts for Christmas, and that's what we that's what we do. And our money is still together. I just uh, I feel like that's something that you have to talk about because some people do feel like when you buy me something then that means you care about me Five you lunches. yeah you buying me something means you care about me maybe it's someone who doesn't like shopping and you find out that they went out and and actually went searching for this one item that you might have mentioned once that's pretty thoughtful even though it costs money, money. i mean that's it's true. still pretty thoughtful like that there's thought that went into that you know every thoughtful gift does not have to be cheap expensive no, oh, yeah. or cheap I, right. like yeah. just because it's, it costs a lot doesn't mean it wasn't thoughtful you know what i'm saying right like if you would have been able to actually jump online and find that playstation 5 that uh the, yeah. that the bots kept beating me to and you Got all this shopping power. Missed out on that one. <laughs> Darn. But, yeah. So anyway. But no, I, I get with that. I, it does, um, just because you you spend money on something doesn't mean 
that it's not thoughtful just because you spend a lot of money on something doesn't mean that's not thoughtful just because you don't spend a whole lot of money on something doesn't mean that it's not thoughtful so thoughtful is is that thoughtful so let me ask you this so when i'm at times we have arguments about gift giving because i'm more so of a gift giver gift receiver like i'm going to tell you exactly what i want this is what i want if you, you ask me you more so on the other hand it's kind of like oh well figure it out like I, that's I, not true it's the opposite i don't think so i tell you what i want well no but when it comes you tell me i want a louis i want this i want that. but when it comes to like the exact purse yeah that was yeah yeah that was you didn't always when you you when it comes to things that cost less than five or six hundred dollars I send, I tell you what I want. Most of, but that's the problem. Most of the time, if there's something that I want, I've already bought it. That's it. Like if there's something I wanted, I already bought it. And if I haven't bought it, that means it's a bigger purchase that I'm kind of waiting until he breaks down and finally gets it or something like that. Like that's, I think that's also part of the, the issue with gift giving in a relationship is like, Especially as an adult, it's like if I want it, I've already bought it. Like that's that's kind of what like I'm not gonna wait until Christmas. If it's September and I see something that I like, like I see a pair of shoes, I'm not gonna wait until September or um, wait until December to go get it. I'm gonna just go ahead and buy it. That's true too, because there's times where I might see something I thought you want and I just pick it up like oh yeah, or or be give the green light. Time you did or that. Say, or give the green light for you to buy something that I was hesitant on you buying. Tapping out camera. I just said or give you the green light to buy something that I originally was like no. Like when we went back and forth, back and forth about getting a new camera, and I was like, no, you don't need a new camera. We don't need a new camera. And then boom, I was like, all right, you know what? Go ahead, get the camera. And then I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been watching the vlogs. <laughs> I dropped the camera we just got a couple months ago and messed up the lens. So now we have to buy another lens. Yeah. So, but it's stuff like that. And that's kind of the thing. It's kind of like not like our situation. I feel like it's different in extent. But then I first went, I came into this conversation honestly thinking like our situation was different because like our, our money is together. But that makes a lot of sense. Like even if your money not together, like the bills is still got to get paid. The money still got to be moved. So... If I'm, unless you're saving, that's the thing too. Like I told you how you're going to get your bag. I already told you how you're going to get your bag for next year. So unless you like saving, like you legitimately put money to the side. I'm like, all right, this is the but money that I'm working But if you're putting money with. to the side, you're taking money out of the fund. You're but not necessarily, but what if out. I'm taking on, like what if I'm like, saving can be different within a relationship too. Cause I do that. And I do that when it comes to things that I'm about for myself and things that I might maybe buy for you one day but i might be something like you know what this week instead of spending a hundred dollars on or forty dollars at the store or a hundred dollars on bs maybe i only spend 50 and i put that extra 50 to the side for a gift or something like normally i spend 200 dollars at walmart on or target or something on just some random stuff maybe you know for the next few like for six months i only spend a hundred dollars at target and i'm taking that extra money and i'm putting it to the side because i know i want to buy you something nice i mean you could you could but like i said it's, it's still taking it out of but it's already money that but it's not though because the, that's where the um appreciation come from because it's like i normally already always spend this money on myself so it's be like you if you like you got your boxy charms and all these other box subscriptions that you got come to the house. If you was to cancel those, I would have no idea that those would be canceled because I'm already used to the money, not the money coming out. So instead of you, that money going to subscription, you put it to the side. I'm like, I'm gonna use this money. Instead of taking more money out of our account, I'm gonna use this money that was already going to something and I'm gonna put it towards buying something for you. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So. So what was the worst gift I've ever gotten you? The worst gift you've ever gotten. Um, can you think of the worst gift you think that I ever told you you got me? Not really, because all my gifts are good. They're, 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 they're not good. All good. We did have this competition. Well, I'm gonna come back on. Give me some time to think <laughs> on it. We did have this little competition for like three or four years, where we were literally like for Christmas, like trying to see who was going to buy 
the best gift. Like, she got me, like, she beat me. The only year I think she beat me was she got me, like, um, tickets to go see Jay Z last concert with my with my boy. Um, and I was, cause I was, I was questioning for a second there. I was like, she was like asking me for like my boy's phone number and shit. And no, I didn't. I got it off. Of, I just Facebooked it. Yeah, right, right. He, no, I gave him. So he, <laughs> I was pregnant with Morgan at the time, y'all. But I gave him. I knew I couldn't go. But I was like, oh, this would be good if I get him these tickets. Because the concert, it was probably like eight days before Morgan was born. So um, the concert was like in January of 2015. So it was Christmas, no, January of 2014. Mm. And Christmas, so it was Christmas of 2013. And so I'm like, he really wants to go to this concert. I can't go because I'm nine months pregnant. So I will get him tickets and I'll get one of his friends to go. So um, I was able to get one of his friends to go. I bought the tickets and then I gave him um, some like rock aware cologne and it was like $20 cologne. <laughs> <laughs> for Christmas and I gave it to him and he was like you should have saw the look on his face it was so funny and I was like this is your gift you know Jay-Z rock aware so I, I found the cologne at like I don't know like where did I find oh, that cologne probably like Big Lots big or line, something <laughs> I found that cologne I was like this is perfect I'll give it to him and make it seem like this is the gift <laughs> and he tried to be nice about it and he was like oh <laughs> tried to be nice about it but I could see the look on his face like what is this and I was yeah. like so do you like your gift <laughs> it's like yeah and then I gave him I think I printed out like the tickets or whatever the receipt and I gave that to him and he was like I'm going by myself and I was like no that's the other surprise and that was pretty yeah, funny yeah that was pretty cool <laughs> And then we went, and she she trumped me because I think that year I like gave her like a like frame, a picture frame of our, like of yeah. our what our like wedding yeah. anniversary. So, okay, <laughs> so now I'm gonna sound like a jerk when I say this. So he gave me this picture frame, which we still have. Where is it? It's over there. Oh, it's our manor, yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. So he gave me this picture frame, which we still have, and I love this picture frame. But I just don't feel like it was a Christmas gift. Like, I, was, mind you, I got this idea from coworkers because I did not know what to buy her. We, I did mind you, this time we didn't have a lot of money. Okay. Um, we wasn't. We was. We was a pretty. We was on our second year of marriage. Hadn't even had a full second year of marriage. We were pregnant with our first not kid even together. Close. We yeah, were barely one. Yeah. We were pregnant with our first kid, didn't have a lot of money, and I was like, what can I get her? And they was giving me ideas. He got me an engraved picture frame with our wedding date, and it said our like- first dance, with a picture of our first dance it inside was, of it. It was a picture of our first dance inside, so it was a great <laughs> gift, but it was more so an anniversary gift. Like, I can't really do anything with that, you know? <laughs> like, for Christmas, so. <laughs> I was like, look, I love the frame. Don't get me wrong. I said, we still have the frame. I love that frame. We will forever have that frame. But it was just, in my opinion, it just wasn't a Christmas gift. And maybe I was a little ungrateful about it, but I don't know. <laughs> so he did give me that. And then I think he got, what was that cologne by Beyonce yeah, called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it had this like ugly snake skin bag, bag with it. With it yep. I was <laughs> like, about to say with a bag yeah. there, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was that was a bad gift. That was not a bad. Gift. That was a bad Christmas gift, and I've never done that again since. But um, I learned. I, <laughs> and every and every year after that, I pretty much won the competition. That's where we were talking about MacBooks. About and every year after that, you've got not that you didn't give bad gifts. You just wasn't giving. You wasn't giving out gifts like I was giving out. I say, what's the worst gift you've ever given? I'm trying to think. It was probably, wasn't even like a bad gift. It was probably in like comparison to something I gave. Like, I think like, I think I remember the far wedding anniversary when I gave you, when I gave her like, um, the, the red bottoms and then we went on vacation. I think she gave me like some, she bought like some cute lingerie and she wore it like when we was on vacation. I was like, yeah, this is, this is equal. This <laughs> This is this know. is this is equal. Yeah, I get I you get red bottoms. I get I get lingerie on vacation. I didn't know we was going all out. Okay. <laughs> so it wasn't like bad, but it was kind of like, oh, this is this is not equal. <laughs> I wasn't aware we were going all out. Got to make that clear up front. 
But needless to say, I mean, I feel like gift giving within every relationship is different. Um, don't uh, don't let like people tell you how you should give gifts or that you have to spend a lot of money in order to um, in order for a gift to be taken or, or received a certain way so go off of what your partner like what you know your partner likes and even if it's you know you have someone who may like expensive things and you can't afford expensive things do don't first of all don't let that be a deterrent in and getting and getting them something because you may like me i like expensive things but at the same time i also I mean, I've always liked expensive things, but we ain't always had expensive thing money, okay? So I like I know where my partner is. So don't try to go broke buying a Christmas gift because you think your partner likes expensive things. Well, I knew the money we had and what right. situation we were in. So I wasn't expecting, when we didn't have any money, I wasn't expecting him to get me something that cost a million dollars because we ain't had no million dollars. Hell, we ba- you know, we barely I mean, had money for regular stuff. And that's I think even like, I'm not going to long win this up, but even like our first, my first, our first like big, big gifts, like when I got her, her first ever MacBook, like that wasn't like money out of our account. That the, I think that was one of the things that made the, the first MacBook I didn't even say MacBook. I'll give you a quick background. The first one of the first gifts I gifts I ever got her invested in the YouTube was like a little tablet that I paid for at like a fair at my job because I was just showing her that I'm investing in what you're doing. And then the evolution of that was like her MacBook. She kept talking about she wanted a MacBook, and I won a contest at my job where I won like a thousand dollar Best Buy cute gift card. And I'm like, I'm going to use that on on her, and that's what the thoughtful like. It wasn't like we wasn't even balling. Or have any money like then it's just a I i won this and instead of spending this on me that's kind of where the, the thoughtful come from so it's like kind of make sure you your thought is it's thoughtful and it, it comes from the heart and it works with your relationship like i said money doesn't have to be the end all be all hell you could money is not the end all be all at all there are plenty of people who will never be able to afford a macbook or uh, some red bottoms or they're playing and they are perfectly happy and perfectly fine and get each other gifts Just fine. Like so don't let people make you think you need to go broke in order to to be for them to be happy And if that's what your partner is telling you that probably ain't the right person. I'm just saying All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this first video of season two of dear mr. And mrs. Bradley I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas thus far don't forget to subscribe and also click that like thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed the video and if you have any other video topics that you want us to cover in season two make sure you leave them down below in the comment section also let us know what you are getting your significant other or family member or friend for christmas down at hell maybe i might still an idea because i still ain't got her gift yet so we shall see Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.